answer is yes, because Jesus fulfilled all the law. The answer is yes, because Jesus delivered us from the powers of darkness and translated us into the kingdom of light. Your dear son, in whom we have redemption through his blood, even the forgiveness of our sins. Thank you for delivering us from darkness, Lord. Thank you for delivering us from darkness. We praise you right now, God, that you are faithful. Thank you, Father, that we have freedom in you and that we're able to worship you in spirit and truth. You are ruler, you are Lord, you are Lord over our spirit, you are Lord, you are overseer, you are master over our spirit, our soul, and our body. Father, in the name of Jesus, help us. Our prayer today is help us. Lead us in your righteousness today, Father. You are our rest. You are our rest. Father, I pray that you give everyone on the call and their families rest. Father, that we rest in you. Let us feel refreshed in you, Father. A refreshing from your spirit, a touch from your anointing, Lord God, quickening bodies by the power of the Holy Ghost, the same power that raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Father, I ask that you touch your people now. Let them feel your presence today. Even now. Thank you for the fire of the Holy Ghost, the warmth of your presence, Father. We are asking for the warmth of your presence right now. Father, manifest your glory right now. We desire the glory of the Lord upon us, the glory of the Lord refreshing us. The glory of the Lord ministering to us now. Rest. Thank you, Lord, letting us cease from our own labors after the flesh, but let us do everything in the Holy Spirit. Our prayer is that we would do everything in the Holy Spirit. Rest and ease. Thank you for our angels that are encamped around about us this day, Father. The angels are encamped around about us. Thank you, Father, for you have your ministry angels around us. Father, we thank you for the angels that you have around us today. Thank you, Father, that the angels hearken to the voice of your word. Thank you, Father, when we speak your word, the angels hearken to the voice of your word. Word. Thank you for these angels, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you when we speak your word, it shall not return void. Father, we thank you that your word is full of power in Jesus' name. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your spirit. Thank you for your word. Thank you for the angels that are encamped around us. Thank you for the blood of Jesus. We apply the blood of Jesus to our lives right now. Father, we thank you for the blood of Jesus covering us from the top of our head to the soles of our feet. We speak that the blood of Jesus covers us now. We agree, Father. We receive the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus coating us right now. The blood of Jesus on our spirit. The blood of Jesus on our soul. The blood of Jesus on our bodies. Everywhere. Every where the blood of Jesus covering us, the blood of Jesus on our circulatory system right now, the blood of Jesus on every circulatory system right now. Thank you, Father. The blood of Jesus on our bones, the blood of Jesus on our nerves. The blood of Jesus on our eternal organs. The blood of Jesus on our eyes. The blood of Jesus on our ears. The blood of Jesus covering us right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, 
Yahusha. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Glory. We are the temple of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is in us. We thank you, Father, for dwelling inside of us. And our prayer is to feel your presence today. Our prayer is to feel your presence today, Father. In the name of Jesus. We receive the quickening power of the Holy Ghost quickening us now. Rest this day. This day of rest. Rest, rest, rest in the name of Jesus. Thank you for the victory of the cross, Lord. Thank you for what you've done on the cross. Father, in the name of Jesus, we decree and declare we have the victory of the cross. We speak and ask that you receive the victory of the cross for us and our families right now, Father. And everyone on the prayer call, Father. Thank you for abundance of grace, Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for releasing abundance of grace, Father. We ask for an abundance of grace right now, grace that makes it easy, grace, Father, that does it for us. Thank you for the grace that works through us in the name of Jesus. According to 1 Corinthians 15.10, But by the grace of God, I am what I am. And his grace which was bestowed upon me was not in vain. But I labored more abundantly than they all. Yet not I. Yet not I, but the grace of God which was with me. Father, we receive the grace of God laboring right now more abundantly than they all. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Father, we thank you for the love of God right now, shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit. We decree and declare that the love of God is shed abroad in our heart by the Holy Spirit. Father, we receive the love of God in our families right now, Father, in the name of Jesus. The love of God in our children, the love of God in our children, the fear of God in our children. Thank you, Father, for your love, your the fear, which is a holy fear, is a holy reverence. Not that they're to be scared of you, Lord, just to reverence you as holy, to let them know that you are with them, Father. Let our children practice the presence of the Lord. That is our prayer for the children to practice, practice the presence of the Lord, for our families to practice the presence of the Lord. That's being aware of your presence at all times. In the name of Jesus, Father, let us hear your voice. You said... We hear your voice, and a stranger's voice we will not follow. Father, we pray for the grace of God on our children and our families, that we follow only the good shepherd's voice, because you lead us in the path of righteousness. You lead us in the path of prosperity. You lead us in the path of divine good health. You lead us in the path of, path of grace. You lead us in the path of happiness and joy. You lead us in the path of love and father. You lead us in the path of joy and peace. You live, lead us in the path of patience and kindness. You lead us in the path of gen gentleness, meekness. You lead us in the path of self-control. Thank you, Father, for the Holy Ghost, Father. Lead us, lead our children today. That is our prayer, that you lead our family, lead our children, lead our family in the path of your righteousness in the name of Jesus. Let not us take pleasure in the things of the world, the world, the things that are destructive, Lord, that, are, that grieve you, that you're not pleased with. Father, in the name of Jesus, lead us in the path of righteousness in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father, for leading us not into temptation in Jesus' name. We bless you, Lord God. You lead us not in the path of the world. You lead us not in the path of the wicked one, but you lead us in the path of righteousness, and that is our prayer. Father, we pray for divine appointments. We pray for divine appointments today in the name of Jesus. Divine appointments according to your favor. Divine appointments according to your will. Divine favor. Divine Divine appointments according to your purpose in our lives. In the name of Jesus. Thank you for leading us in the path of your purpose. Let us have divine appointments according to your will. People who are walking according to the Holy Spirit. People who are destined to walk in the Holy Spirit. People who you have known before they were formed in their mother's womb that are destined to be worshippers in spirit and truth. Those, Lord, lead us to those. Draw these to you, Lord Jesus, from the north, the 
the south and the east and the west, that Jesus Christ may be lifted up and that you would draw all men to yourself. You knew everyone before they were formed in their mother's womb. You knew those whom you have destined to worship you in spirit and truth. You knew those who will bow down to you, Lord God. Lead us to these in Jesus' name. Divine appointments, divine appointments in Jesus' name. We decree divine appointments in Jesus' name. Glory, 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 glory. Thank you, Father, that you delivered us from this present evil world, that we are seated with you, Christ, in heavenly places, and we reside in the kingdom of God, your dear Son, and the law of spirit and life in Christ has made us free from the law of sin and death. We thank you, Father, that we are delivered from the law of sin and death. We thank you, Father, for the law of spirit and life has set us free and made us free in Christ. Therefore, we reap good in the name of Jesus. That means we reap good according to your spirit. We reap good, we attract good because the law of spirit and life in Christ has set us free from the law of sin and death. We don't reap from the evil one. We reap good from you because you have canceled the assignment of the wicked one. You have rebuked the devourer on our behalf. You have defeated Satan on the cross. So therefore, we reap good. We claim good. We receive receive good. Something good is going to happen to us today. Goodness and mercy follow us all the days of our lives. <clears throat> glory, 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 glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, that we reap good. Reap good. Your word says that you are not mocked and we reap what we sow. Father, you sow good for us through Jesus Christ that we might reap good. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, thank you, Jesus, that we reap good. The law of spirit and life in Christ has made us free from the law of sin and death. The law of spirit and life in Christ has canceled the assignment of the law of sin and death. We have re been redeemed from the curse of the law of sin and death. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that we reap good. We eat the good of the land in the name of Jesus. We eat the good of the land. We benefit good. We benefit from the good of the land. Thank you, Lord God. Glory, hallelujah. Father, you have not given us a spirit of fear, but you have given us a spirit of power. You've given us a spirit of love, and you've given us a spirit of a sound mind. So thank you, Lord God, for a sound mind this day. I decree and declare prosperity over your people. The spirit of prosperity is ours. You are the spirit of prosperity. Holy Ghost, you are the spirit of prosperity. And we receive prosperity in whatever we put our hands to. Because the grace of God is with us. May the grace of God be with your people. May peace be with your people. We receive that grace is with us. We receive that peace is with us. Because you have ordained it so. So, Father, we thank you in agreement. We declare, our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive our debts as we forgive not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. In the name of Jesus, something good is going to happen to you today. So, Father, we thank you for today. Thank you for heal bodies today. We decree healing. Thank you for prosperity today. We decree prosperity. Thank you for joy today. We decree joy and gladness. Thank you. This is the day you made, Lord, and we will rejoice and be glad in it. Intercessors, go in the joy of the Lord because you have the great intercessor in you. You are loved. You are accepted in the beloved. Your Father God is with you. Have a 